Hey everyone, Trollbender here with Deadfish Flip Flop. Wanted to make a new DLSS manual update video for you, so here we go. First thing you wanna do is go to the Tech Power Up webpage and navigate to the NVIDIA DLSS DLL page. Latest version is 2.5.1. Here are some properties if you wanna take a look at that. Anyway, let's go ahead and download that latest version from one of the Tech Power Up mirrors. It's going to appear in your computer in their download section, possibly as a zip file or wherever you downloaded that file, usually downloads. You're gonna to wanna to right click on that zip file, hit extract all, and then hit extract. Make sure you know where the hell this thing is going. Hit extract and you have a workable NVIDIA DLSS file to deal with. Now what we need to do is go ahead and find a game to update. So let's go to this PC. In the search box, we're gonna type in nvngx underscore dlss dot dll and hit enter or click on that. And it's gonna start searching your drives for any of the games that have that DLSS file. Pretty easy, huh? Yeah. Then, once you figure out what game you want to update your DLSS file on, you'll go ahead and right click on that file and you're gonna hit open file location. That will bring you directly to the DLSS file. It'll even highlight it for you. And here is how we can update that file. As you can see, we're gonna do Cyberpunk as an example. So now just right click on that file and hit rename or you could just tap once on there with your mouse and it'll allow you to rename it. So in front of the, the file, go ahead and put old or backup, whatever you wanna do, boom. Now that file is no longer useful for the moment. Now go back to your downloads folder and you're gonna take the new DLSS file. You're gonna copy that, right click and hit copy and just paste that directly into your game folder and boom, you have now updated your DLSS file. Was that hard? No, and you can mouse over to verify you have 2.5.1. Look at that, isn't that pretty? It's a shiny new file. And there's the old one, see 2.4.12 or whatever version the game was at before you updated it. All right, now want to reverse that? Go ahead and search the file again if you close your folders and right click and hit open file location. As you can see, we have the old one there. And if we want to reverse all this and go back to the stock DLSS file of the game, just open file location, you'll see it'll go back to that old file. And what we're going to want to do is rename the new one that we did replace. We'll rename that to new or whatever. You know, right click and hit rename or in Windows 11 hit the rename icon. See, we'll just type new there. Hey, how's it going? And the old file, back to the stock file, we'll just remove the word old in front of it. And boom, we're done. That's it. We've updated and reversed the process for the DLSS files for your NVIDIA RTX cards. Q and A. Will updating a game through Steam, Epic, or other platforms affect the DLSS file I've uploaded? It can, yes. The game developers will choose one of three paths for updates. A, the update will overwrite your manual DLSS file with an older file, and you'll have to update again manually. B, the update will keep the DLSS version the same as it currently is. Or C, the update may include a newer DLSS file than what you have. You can always search for the DLSS file after an update and right click on the file to see the version numbers. What video cards? support DLSS. Well, right now, all NVIDIA RTX cards support DLSS 2. For DLSS 3, you'll need an RTX 4000 series card, the latest hardware from NVIDIA. What happens if I delete my DLSS file? Well, DLSS will not work until you replace that file. More than likely, the option will also not be available in the game, or you may even have some other crazy weird things happen. Well, that's it for Q&A and the DLSS video. This has been Trollbender for Deadfish Flip Flop. Be sure to hit the subscribe and like buttons. We have a lot more videos to come. Thanks, I love you guys.